Collective investment schemes in Uganda continue to gain affinity by savers growing at 17.4% between December 2021 and March 2022. Collective investment schemes pull together savings of several people to invest and make profits. According to government, more in savings mobilization can be attained through these schemes. 1,998 Ugandans who have already decided to save through collective investment schemes by opening accounts with the five licensed collective investment scheme managers, an improvement of 22.5 percent from 26,936 in the space of three months. However, we can do a lot better. We're still seeing a case of growth in this sector. We're still seeing more and more people saving. So as I mentioned, the 33,000 Ugandans is still a very small number. Um, <clears throat> our colleagues in uh, Ghana, for example, have about 750,000 Ghanaians who have saved through collective investment schemes. The number in Kenya is much higher. The assets in Kenya is about four times um, what it is in Uganda. So we see a lot of potential for growth. In this asset the savers in investment schemes have been warned against being conned by unscrupulous saving schemes that might rob them of their money. We should only invest through a licensed uh, operator. So the first question you should ask anyone who is purporting to invest your money on your behalf is whether they are licensed. And they need to show you the fact that they are licensed, either here or the country they are coming from. You can check with us. We have relationships with the regulators in other countries all over the world. We can confirm to you whether somebody is licensed or not. The total holdings in collective investment schemes are now in the excess of one trillion shillings and growing. Rachel Nabisubi, NTV.